Hi everyone and welcome back to Las Vegas Video Production Services YouTube channel and today we are going to be showing you how to build these very inexpensive LED light boxes. Um, I use them to light our green screen here in our studio and they work amazing. You can build these boxes for under 40 bucks, 45 bucks if you add the dimmer on them which actually stops the little flicker rate and more on that right after this. Action. So okay, so these are the boxes I just built. I just built these nice little LED boxes to light our green screen here in our studio here in Las Vegas. Um, basically what they do is they, light, they run the whole spectrum of the wall, give it a nice lighted surfaces. Sometimes I use them to actually light people's close-up shots if I'm doing uh, like a black curtain or whatever. And uh, these boxes I built for $39.09. And if you add the little dimmer, Sometimes these, the LEDs will actually cause a flickering effect um, if you're held up close to the face. So actually if you add a little dimmer right here, this little dimmer that I'll show you how it's hooked up uh, costs about $4.94 and uh, it works great. As you can see, um, here's 100%, I don't know if you can tell in there. There's 50%, 25%. If you want to have a discotheque, they have little modes. Doom, 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 doom. If you're having a dance party. Anyhow, that's not quite what I use them for. I just use them for the brightness and also it stops the, the flickering effect that you get from a lot of the uh, LED builds that you get at home. And for five bucks, it's well worth it. So I'm going to show you how I built it and um, step by step and let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, if you like it, it, please comment, subscribe, tell me what you do like, what you don't like. If there's, you have a better option of ways of building it, let me know that too. Um, all the parts that I'm actually put these lights together with um, from Amazon, there's links in the description. You can go there. Um, Home Depot, I just told you what they are. One by four, eight foot one by four, and um, little particle pre-primed uh, um, boards. I think they're one by ones or three quarters by one. Four by one is like three bucks and the other one's like four bucks. I don't know. It's in the description, prices and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so these I built there. And then I'm also going to show you these little things that it's kind of a, a test run right here, but they actually work really well. I'm actually going to, um, you'll see in the video later how I, how I actually hooked the, the bottoms up because uh, these I actually sawed at the top, but I found some uh, nice little connectors that I'll show you. I should actually have them with me. So these little boxes actually work amazing. And um, um, when I built them, um, I got really lazy. These I soldered the whole tops on, and I'll show you that in the video, how I did that. But I actually found a better method besides soldering them, which are these little connectors that I found on uh, Amazon. Open this up. I have yet to actually use them yet, but they're amazing. These little connectors right here, it's like you can get it. A pack of 10 for like five bucks I think for the 30 30s and maybe 10 bucks for the 50 50s and um, when you connect them you just actually you just bend them around and connect them to each end well I got lazy here and uh, you'll see that in the build where I actually just bent the uh, I didn't feel like soldering anymore because I got soldered out on those and these I didn't feel like doing it so I actually just bent the wire around and you know it's it works fine it looks a little cheesy but it works great, you know, and actually I really like the light, so I'm actually now going to cut them off and add the connectors and make them look a little better, then I'll fix up these ends. But these right here are actually uh, $3 pie pan or cake pans that I got from Walmart. I don't really shop. I don't really shop at Walmart, so don't tell anyone I did that because yuck. Anyhow, so uh, yeah, these are from Walmart, $3, and... And what I did is I actually put a piece of uh, particle board, really thin particle board, um, like less than a quarter inch, uh, behind it, glued it in with, uh, with Gorilla Glue. And that way there's no um, chance of, you know, getting electric uh, from the cords hitting the metal. I mean, it's 12 volts, really, unless, I mean, if you ever stuck a 9-volt battery on your tongue, it's not going to be much more damage than that, you know, a little more got whacked by a car a few times but still you know anyhow but just for safety purposes I put the board back there the board was in the backyard I figured let's do it anyhow um, yeah but they work great and then what I do with these I actually have 
Um, I, have a, I have a power supply feeding into one of them. I have two of these lights. The power supply feeding into one, so I let it buy one power supply. And then I'm a musician, as you can tell probably by the hair. That's not a magician. I'm from Vegas, and I get the Cress Angel thing a lot. Um, power supply coming in. And then going out, I actually took a mic cord, an old mic cord I had, and that's what this is hanging down here, and connected it up. So the second light, there's one over here, I can actually just connect the, pa the, the uh, mic cord to it, and it'll turn the second light on for me. So that works really good. I only need one power supply. Power supply costs about nine bucks. Totally take care of that problem. Same with all these. And I actually have three of these units. I have uh, uh, one hanging on the ceiling, uh, for either a hair light or a, another light on the green screen. And then I have two of these. And then the clamps on the back, turn this around. You see right here, this little metal clamps. Um, this actually isn't in that $39 price. You'd have to get these at, at um, Home Depot. They're about $4, $5. So anyhow, this is the build. I wanna um, show you step-by-step step how I built it. And please hope you, if you like it, um, if you like what I did, or maybe you have some some ideas for uh, to making it actually better than what it is. I don't know how that's possible. I've really checked every method I could find, but who knows? Anyhow, uh, hope you like it, and please like and subscribe and comment, and, and hope it helps you. Okay, so here's the rundown of what I spent on lights so from Amazon.com. I got, and by the way, any of this stuff that I got from Amazon is um, there are links to it in the description below. Uh, the first thing I got. Was I paid eleven ninety nine for the LED fifty fifty uh, sixteen foot strips? Um, probably going to need uh, two of these to 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 make the light boxes um, correctly. Um, you could get away with one, but I would actually suggest two. Um, the next thing is optional uh, that I got was the wireless remote control uh, dimmer. But for five bucks, I would suggest getting it because what it does is sometimes with these LED lights that you make at home, they'll have a little bit of flicker going on, and um, which is a little disturbing, especially when you're shooting on green screen or if you're using it to actually light um, you know, a talent, then that flicker uh, gets captured in the video. And when you add this uh, dimmer, the uh, it'll take all that away. And you can, just, you can have it up at 100%, it just takes the flicker away. So um, anyhow, for five bucks, I would suggest getting it. Um, the next thing is a power supply. Um, I spent nine eighty nine um, on the power supply right there, and you know you can use a lot of people say you can use um, laptop power supplies, but you know I actually looked at a few that I had at home that were twelve volt five um, A, and they just they just didn't work. They kept they kept turning the lights on and off, and it just did some weird things. So I finally ended up buying an actual power supply. So I would just do away with that headache if you're going to make these lights and buy the right power supply. Um, this is another optional uh, thing. Uh, the 50-50 uh, uh, light strip connectors, uh, the 10-pack, uh, what these do um, is basically takes the soldering out of it. Um, so you can see in the build that I actually soldered the ends, um, which took a lot of time. Um, so if you would rather spend a little more money and, and less time, then I would say the connectors were the way to go because all you got to do is clamp them on each end and boom, you're ready to go. You can cover that up with wood or whatever and um, be a lot easier than, than soldering. It's going to save you at least probably a couple hours worth of work. So anyhow, that's an option. I didn't use it. I just got the connectors. I'm actually going to use it on my pie pan builds or my cake pan builds. And um, so that's actually going to be nice. I can't wait to get that done. Um, from Home Depot, um, the... Eight foot one by fours cost you about a buck eighty five for those, um, and the trim board surrounding them um, about three twenty eight for an eight foot trim board. Okay, so here today is the start of my uh, fluorescent light boxes. They're gonna go along the side of my uh, my endless wall, um, and basically all I did is I got these little cheap one by fours, um, uh, I got it 10 feet long, and that way I made four foot boxes, so I had a little bit of play. And then on the sides are just a little, I guess they'd call them one by ones. These are the, uh, that compressed wood that you find at Home Depot, it's white, um, you know, pre-painted. 
Um, I think for a 10 foot one's like three bucks. These for a 10 foot one are like three bucks. And I just, um, we have this at the back, and you can see how that sits like that. And then wrap those around it. <clears throat> and then I put wood glue in the seams and then tacked them with little finish nails. Painted them up, drilled two holes out right there. I'm gonna run main plug coming in through one. And then at the end, I'm gonna run a plug going out through one. And that way I can actually link the lights together using the same power supply. Okay, so now uh, I've stapled in the um, copper wiring for the positive side and the negative side. There's a the positive side. There's a the negative side. I'm going to take my first strand of the 50-50, uh, uh, and I'm going to take the, the power wire, and I'm going to run it through the hole that I drilled for the power wire. So now it's... All ready to go through there. And now I can just take the rest of it, measure it out, cut it off where it's going to be at, stick it down, and then I will start soldering. And one more thing I want to point out is when you're cutting these strips, let me see if I can zoom in. Light. You're cutting these strips. You're going to see a little line right here that says cut. There's a little black line, and that's where you got to cut them at. Because when you cut them off, you got to make sure you have the little copper ends on both sides of the strips. Otherwise, you're not going to have anything to to uh, to uh, either solder them to or clip them to. So you got to do that. And also, I think when you're laying these lights out. You want to um, see here where I have uh, where I have the the light on this strip here, and then on the next strip over, I'm going right between those two lights. So now when I lay the the next strip down, I'll actually stagnate it back in the same order. So that gives it a nice even flow throughout the whole thing. You can see how that one. Sorry, I have my camera on manual focus. So you can see how this one really illuminates the whole area. Okay, so right now I just want to show you uh, the soldering. So basically I laid the, the, the top wire across there, stapled it, and then I soldered uh, on this side, um, I soldered all the positive wires to the positive wires. Um, you can see that long one coming down there, it's because the top had to be soldered down further. So anyhow, all the positive to positive is soldered this side, and the very bottom will go all the way down the light. And then down here, you can see all the negative lines on those little strips are soldered to that line. And then, um, and then it just comes out and plugs in. Now you take a look right here, you can see this long one coming up here. It's because that negative, um, if you notice, there's a wire that's connected to this, um, the end of this thing. So um, I had to go up to the next negative right there. But you can, like I said, you're not going to get whacked um, because these are 12 volts. And also, the the, you have the negative all down here and the positive way up there. So you can always add some kind of electrical tape over here, even add another piece of wood uh, to cover that up if you wanted to. You can probably do a better job soldering it than I did too. I was just experimenting and uh, now that I know they work really well, I'll probably actually clean them up a little more and actually keep them because they work really good. And then the same with, here's the pie pan lights, as you can see. My little curve jobbies here. Um, yeah, and uh, now that I know the lights work so well, I'm actually really going to clean these up and actually put the adapters on like I was showing you and then uh, make them actually look like a nice pair of lights. 
you know, right now when people walk in and see them, they're just light and they work good, so no one really says anything. But um, yeah, there's a second four foot one to, from my side of my green screen and then up very top up there in the light. That's the other one that I use for um, either a hair light if it's coming this way or I tip it back towards the green screen if I need more light on the green screen. But uh, all right, let's finish up the video. So I hope you like that, and um, like I said before, you know, like I always say, pretty much always say it, I actually get tired of myself saying it, but I'm going to say it again. Um, make sure you comment, subscribe, tell me what you do and you don't like about it. Um, you know, I'm really trying to build this channel up, so, um, you know, help me out and just by commenting, subscribing, and liking, and uh, tell me what you, what you do like and you don't like again, and also, you know, um, I really have a good time building this stuff, so let me know if there's something else I can build and make a video of. So uh, yeah, anyhow, um, we'll see you next time and Action. This is what we're starting with. It's a cook pan I got from Walmart. Uh, it was like 349. So one of the things you wanna do is you wanna drill a hole in the bottom there. That's where the power cord is going to come out. And you want to drill a hole in the side, that is where we're going to stick the light clamp in at. We're going to cut a piece of wood out to put our LED lights on and then uh, paint it everything black. So then what I do is I cut a little cardboard tin plate out because I'm going to usually thin plywood for the backing and I don't want to, I only have a little bit left so I don't want to mess up cutting it up. And also it takes longer to cut it up than it does with cardboard that I can do with scissors. And, uh, Make sure that fits, fits in there fine, so I'm just lay it on top of my plywood, cut around it. Okay, so I'm out here in my backyard. I'm actually not gonna use a little plywood. I actually found this little chunk of uh, particle board that you know a lot of people use for back of drawers or underneath of drawers, cheap drawers. And I had a long piece that I messed up on, on another build, so I'm just gonna use that as my backing. And the reason I wanna have uh, wood as a backing is because when I'm soldering the wires, I don't want it to touch that metal um, uh, pie tin or, or cake pan or whatever it is. So I'm just taking my little cardboard piece out, lay it on there, draw it around and cut it out. I have two lights, so I'm going to cut out two of those.